Hey guys, so I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, has given into that surging temptation of busting that pimple when you see it, you know, it evolve like a volcano kind of pulsating on your face and fully knowing that you're gonna end up like Scar on Lion King, but you do it anyway. Now, you're left with acne scars. No. Some pimples can leave deep craters and vice picking scars on the skin, whereas others can fade away like dandelion in the wind. So today we're gonna to share with you the common causes for acne scarring and acne marks, as well as hyperpigmentation, and how to tell the difference between the two, as well as what products you should be looking for, and natural ingredients that will help heal your skin and let your beautiful natural skin shine through. But of course, before we do that, just wanna remind you guys to join the family and subscribe, hit that bell button as well to get notified so that you will know when we post our next video. I want you guys to do a little test with me, just like run your fingers, let them be clean, along your face. So look in the mirror and while you're kind of feeling around, whether it's a raised scar or whether it's like more of the little dents, look more closely at the color of the little spots because the color actually tells a lot about what type of hyperpigmentation it is that you have and it will make it easier for you to treat it. Let's talk about the different types of scarring. The term acne scar has become the umbrella term for all types of discoloration and hyperpigmentation as well as the aftermath of pimples. However, they actually include three different very types of hyperpigmentation on the skin. First one is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which is PIH. The second thing is post-inflammatory erythema, which is PIE. And number three is the atrophic scarring. Now let's distinguish between these. So what is PIH? Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation is basically any black or brown spots on the skin, which is caused by the overproduction of melanin. And if you're wondering what melanin is, think freckles, birthmarks, or sunspots. Basically, it's the pigment that gives color in our body, so that's in hair, in our eyes. PIH is triggered by an inflammatory response that initiates melanin production. So think about, you know, when you're getting a pimple, when you're aging and obviously sun exposure. Ever wondered why dark skinned people don't burn as much as whiter skinned people? It's because they have more melanin in their skin that protects themselves from the sun. Melanin is actually the main reason for any hyperpigmentation on the skin. How you want to treat it is to actually use products that will speed up the skin renewal process so that it kind of, you know, the layers of the skin regenerate faster and so you're left with just clear skin at a quicker rate. Here are some ingredients that you can look for for in your skincare routine to really speed up the process. First ingredient you wanna look for is AHAs. And AHA is an exfoliating acid, which is really effective in speeding up and shedding dead skin on your face. It increases cell turnover and exfoliates the surface of the skin. And it's really good for people with dry skin because it's gentle enough to use for them. So AHAs include mandelic acid, glycolic acid, and lactic acid. So one of my favorites to use is the Ordinary Lactic Acid. That's kind of like a toner. So I'll wash my face and then put that on immediately afterwards and then go in with serum and moisturizer. And this one is one of my favorite serums when I feel like I have any sort of post-trauma acne on my skin because it's got lactic acid and mandelic acid as the main ingredients, but also it's got sodium hyaluronate and niacinamide, which are both really good ingredients for, once again, protecting your skin, but speeding up that skin renewal process. COSRX also has an AHA 7 Whitehead Powder Liquid, which is also really effective. And the Derma E Overnight Peel is really gentle and really good for sensitive skin as well. So AHA is really gentle on the skin, so try use this. If it stings at all, just build up your tolerance. Use it every like two, three days and your skin will slowly adjust to it. Niacinamide is also another one of those all-star ingredients that are really effective to help brighten your skin and help hyperpigmentation disappear faster. It's got antioxidants and it increases collagen production on the skin and also offers hydration. So it really helps with the process of reducing hyperpigmentation. 
You can also try find sunscreens with niacinamide. For drugstore alternatives, there's CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion and also La Roche-Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer also has a little bit of niacinamide in it and they're affordable options as well. So next one is retinoids and retinoids are a vitamin A. The sole purpose of a retinoid is to increase the cell turnover on your skin. So once again, it's shedding those outer layers where the discoloration might be to reveal new skin. And retinoids increase collagen production on the skin, which is good for aging skin, and it helps fight hyperpigmentation. So another ingredient that you'll probably gravitate towards is vitamin C when it comes to dealing with hyperpigmentation. Vitamin C helps the skin by blocking abnormal pigment production, and it's known for its skin brightening properties, and it prevents the enzyme that produces melanin pigments from causing darker spots on the skin. So basically, when you're looking for any product to help treat your acne marks or hyperpigmentation, just look for increased cell turnover so that your skin sheds the dead layers and it will reveal fresh, plump skin, as well as brightening products like vitamin C and niacinamide. If you guys are more into the natural remedies, we have two, which are our personal favorites. Just keep in mind with more natural remedies, it might take longer to see the results. Aloe vera is a natural scar removing ingredient and it's also known for being a natural emollient which can help repair damaged skin. So it improves the elasticity of newly formed tissue and promotes growth of healthy skin. So which is basically what all those ingredients that I just mentioned before do, right? It's just a more gentle and probably a slower process. So cut the aloe vera leaf and scoop out the gel and you can apply the gel onto your scar and massage it in circular motions, and then you can just let it sit there. And you can do this about two to three times daily because it is a natural ingredient and aloe vera is just generally good. Or you can make two or three drops of tea tree essential oil and apply it onto your affected areas, and you can use this once or twice daily. So, so if your pimple is kind of on the way to its slow demise death, you can try this aloe vera and tea tree combination. But just a note, aloe vera might not be as effective on older scars. Next one is tomatoes. Tomato, tomatoes, tomato. <laughs> tomatoes are actually full of vitamin A, which is the main ingredient of retinoids, but also carotenes which not only gives the tomato its red color, but it also has antioxidant compounds that heals damaged tissues and promotes regrowth of the cells. Tomatoes are also known to shrink pores and fight acne, brighten the complexion, and even remove tans. So if you wanna try this, you wanna take one ripe tomato, cut it into pieces, crush them into a pulp, put the pieces in a bowl, and then apply the pulp onto your face, and leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and then wash your face off afterwards. Feel free to repeat this routine daily for a week or two. And then you can definitely see the brightening properties and how it improves your skin. The next two skin marks are a little bit more difficult to get rid of because the damage is done at a deeper level on the skin, hence why you will need something a bit more abrasive like laser or microdermabrasion. Things like that will take time to heal. What is post-inflammatory erythema, P-I-E? Post-inflammatory erythema is the red and purplish spots on the skin, which is actually different to the brownish marks that we see earlier. And that's probably the biggest way or the easiest way to determine between PIH and PIE. So I personally have a lot of experience with this because I've had all types of acne, as you can imagine. Have you noticed that the acne scarring is red and not brown? Now, the reason why it's red is because the result of DEM, which means the dilation and the damage that's caused to the capillaries on the surface of the skin. That is usually why it's a lot harder to get rid of and also it leaves these tiny red cute spots, which are not really cute. So the third type of scar that acne can cause is the atrophic scars. And it sounds like a catastrophe. It, atrophic and catastrophe just kind of like plays in my mind because it's one of those scars that you can't really treat anymore because it's broken skin tissue. There wasn't enough collagen production to seal up that wound when you know your pimple faded or whatever. So you're left with a dent. And this is something that I 
have suffered with since I had a lot of breakouts in my teenage years as well as chicken pox and the chicken pox left these big gaping like box scars on my cheek. So with atrophic scars there's three types, there's the ice pick, there's the rolling scars and then there's the box scars and basically the only difference between those three is that they form different shapes. So ice pick is more triangular, box is more like a box and rolling is kind of like those bumpy, you know like some people have really bumpy surfaces on the skin that's from very traumatic acne or skin conditions. And the only way to really treat these are through laser and microdermabrasion. So we're not really gonna mention too much about that in this video. <laughs> it's cheaper just to accept the fact that you have it on your face and move on in life. Last but not least, let's talk about prevention. You guys know I'm a big believer of prevention rather than cure because it's better to deal with it now than later when it's worse. So first of all is do not pick pimples because I've said this so many times, we are so tempted by it. You can see it in the mirror and you know it's ready. It's screaming at you telling you, pick me, pick me. But you just have to say no and just don't pick at them because pressing a little too hard or a different angle or just something that you're doing incorrectly that might cause infection or further the spreading of the acne therefore causes acne scarring and these acne scarring like I said could take a lot of time to heal and it's a lot of work to treat this acne scarring as you can see number two is if you do have an acne that burst for no reason let's say accidentally then you need to make sure you find a way to protect it so keeping it clean keeping it covered and sealed and protected so that it's not exposed to like bacterial infections or putting more makeup on it will actually cause it to be more erupt and red and inflammatory so just avoid all those nasty things and then last but not least is sun protection so making sure that you are continuing to protect your skin from hyperpigmentation melanin production and just doing the things that you should be doing for example if you have acne then just making sure that you're leaving your skin nice and clean or if you are going out in the sun wear protection sunblock hat sunscreen sunglasses a white shirt the list goes on and obviously there are other natural remedies as well and making sure that you drinking a ton of water, flushing out the toxins, just the basic things. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys find this helpful. And remember, just keep in mind that these are just our tips and advice from what we've learned and what we've experienced. And on top of that, at the end of the day, you know, acne scarring or hyperpigmentation, we all have it. You're not the only one. Seriously, everyone I know has some type of hyperpigmentation. It doesn't make you different. It doesn't make you someone who's not a desired or not attractive. I found that, you know, what you have is what makes you personal and what makes you you. Like I battle with acne my whole life and it's only until recently that I've able to be happy with my naked skin and I'm still battling with ice pick scarring and sunspots and age spots. I believe I'll be dealing with other types of hyperpigmentation as I age. So we might not win all the battles, but we'll win the war. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.